Hi folks, this is Andrew Briggs from InternetMarketingToolTips.com Just bringing you another tooltip. Today I would like to introduce you to Text Mechanic. If you go into Google and search for Text Mechanic, it should be the number one result. Now, text Mechanic is an online tool to allow you to manipulate text in various tools that they provide. There's quite a substantial list of tools. I'll introduce you to one or two just so that I can keep this video short. But the good thing about it is that if you go into any one of the tools, they include instructions on how to use it. So it, it's really simple. So let's crack on and I'll show you a couple of useful ones that I've used before. Um, but I'll certainly not be taking you through them all. Okay, first of all, count characters, words and lines. As the name says, it just counts characters, words and lines. Pretty straightforward, really. I'll just pop in uh, an example. Now, from the options up here, you can clear all the text, and I'll just paste in some text there. Now, if you have a look, there's two sentences, so it's got it right. Number of words, seven, which is correct, and again, number of characters is also correct. You can hit the count text button unless you've already got this checkbox checked which allows you to do instant updates of the values but now that I've got unchecked if I do some typing you'll see that it's not actually doing anything but if you hit the check that again it keeps it up to date and then you can carry on and it'll keep updating the, the figures for you so fairly straightforward but it allows you to easily count your characters words and sentences back to the main menu the next one I wanted to show you, which is uh, pretty cool, is the delimited column extractor. Again, there's instructions, but I'll just show you a quick demo based on some text that I've created. So what we'll do is we'll paste in some text here. So if you imagine if you pasted that into something like Excel, you would have uh, one column, two column, three column, four column. And what I want to do is separate all the text from the second column. So we extract column number two and we delimit not by the space, which is the default, but the comma. And if you hit extract column, we should just get a list of names. So the other tool that I wanted to show you was just removing duplicate lines. Now, this is a tool that I want to use as part of a a product I'm creating to do with keyword research but uh, that's a story for another day but at the moment if you hit the remove duplicates line you can see that there's three duplicate lines here and from this example that should reduce down to one and there you go but uh, just to show you a small example that I've got I'll just copy the text and pretty simple example remove duplicate lines now there are lines this line is blank and blank but these lines have spaces so when you remove duplicate lines it does treat a space as a character and therefore leaves a single line with a space in it although it looks blank so we'll hit to remove duplicate lines and there you go as you'll notice this line here is the blank line this line here is a blank line but this line here has a space if you remove empty lines and remove duplicate lines again it also removes the lines that are just empty but it still leaves the space there as a as a line so again really useful uh, i used to use other text editors to to do this kind of text manipulation but this online tools perfectly adequate and uh, very useful. Okay, so the other tool that I just wanted to show you quickly is the permutation generator. In here we have actually four tools in one as you can see but I just wanted to quickly show you the universal text combination generator. It's quite a mouthful. What this can be used for is generating a whole list of domain names based on a certain number of 
words within that domain name. So say for instance using the example I've used in another video, if you put in fishing, oh, spell it right, fishing or sea fishing or course fishing and I'm sure there's another one, fly fishing, fly fishing and we'll go for a middle word of made and just so that we've got uh, another option for made um, let's go for found and we'll go for a few other words like easy and easier and uh, simple and simpler okay and see you wanted a domain, uh, a dot com or dot org dot uh, go dot uk or dot info. Now, if you hit the generate combinations here, it will join all those together in all the different uh, combinations that you can create. And as you can see, it generate it's generated 128 different options. So we've got fishing made easy com now. If you want to divide up these words, you maybe want all the words to stick together or you can hyphenate them. You could put a, a hyphen in the dividers and a dot here to separate the dot, uh, .com org and generate the, the options there. So you can see now we've got the domain names separated and we've got the hyphens or you could just obviously leave the hyphens out and generate them again. So you still get the 128 combinations but you can now take this text and copy it into a registrar's website to check to see if these domains are available and then go ahead and register them if you want. So again it's a very useful tool to allow you to create a list of domains that you can then see if they're available or not. Back to the menu you can see that there's a number of different tools here. Again there's a there's even a countdown where you can set the countdown. We can do an audio alarm and start countdown and it will count down and then start beeping and blinking at you. So we'll stop the blinking and we'll head back. And the other one is a stopwatch as well which you can just start and create splits if you wish. So Again, very useful. It's obviously not a text tool, but uh, still a very useful tool. And there's there's quite a number of tools here. So it's certainly worth a visit. Have a look through the different tools, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to come up with many different uses for the tools that I can't even think about here. So hope you enjoyed that. We'll speak soon. Cheers.